guys, it's Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with a box. Okay, so hopefully this time my um, camera doesn't mess up, my computer doesn't mess up, or this human doesn't mess up and we can get this in one take. So today I have Witch Casket, which is for June 2021. I get this um, the end of, of each month. And you guys know, I keep telling you, this box is amazing. It is one of my absolute favorites. And I need y'all to tell your friends because Deb and Ella are amazeballs. Love you guys. Love this box. So hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Lisa. And on my channel, I like to do witchy subscription unboxings as well as one amazing self-care box and tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews and i do have a tarot deck that i need to unbox for y'all pretty soon also i wanted to show you guys hold on i'm wearing lularoe leggings so you're gonna see this but look this is one of my original designs that is new to my etsy shop and it says you become what you believe let me see if i can get a little closer so you guys can see the detail so I've got moon phases I've got this witchy face and then there is my wording so I contract some of these graphics like I did not draw this witch I did not draw the moon phases or this circle but I put them all together the wording I actually did myself I don't know if you guys can see it's got like uh, they're called strokes around the um, the lettering because I do have some Photoshop skills um, but I'm trying there's a few designs in my Etsy store y'all that somebody else completely designed and then I contracted the graphics from them right but then they're more often than not my designs are a design that's completely something that I did myself not completely I'll contract designs like this witch's face but then I put them together in you know a way that like nobody else has done right it's my configuration um, and I have created my own backgrounds um, pretty much all the lettering is my own um, so yeah anyways if you guys haven't checked out my Etsy store, there's a link below. I've got a couple of Etsy stores, but my witchy Etsy store, which is Lunamoth Creations Co. Co. Um, on Etsy, has my T-shirts, and I have tarot deck or not tarot decks, uh, tarot bags, and coffee mugs, and witchy stick stickers. So, anyways, okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. I've got my monster. I've got my banana. I'm ready. Are y'all ready to see what's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. So again, Witch Casket, June 2021. Right on top. Woo! We've got a booklet and it says Spellcraft. Cool. So I guess that's our theme. Yay. Spellcraft is fab. So this box is supposed to have seven exclusive witchcraft, um, or witchcraft witch casket items in it so it's supposed to be a really awesome box so we've got a raven and he's oh at first i thought he was on a broomstick i think he's just on a um a uh, branch here it is june's witch casket we hope you love the spellcraft theme we chose for this casket we are looking forward to a summer of magic here in the uk and wanted to share our love of spellcraft with you all Please remember to read through this pamphlet so you can familiarize yourself with this month's items and our specially selected suppliers. Once again, we've been awed by your magical pictures of your witch casket items this past month. Please continue to tag your social media post, hashtag witch casket, so we can find and share them. It means the world to us to see the positivity surrounding witch casket. We feel so appreciated. Thank you. We are already excited excitedly preparing for July's witch casket and we can't wait for you all to see what we are working on until the next time be well Deb and Ella so if you guys aren't familiar with witch casket Deb and Ella is a mom and daughter team um, that have created this box which I think is so fabulous and I'm like 
I have sons, but I'm hoping that my granddaughter will be my, my little witch apprentice. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. She already loves my crystals, of course. So, all right, I think I need to not look at that right now so we can dive in. First, this beautiful artwork. Oh my God, I love it. That is so pretty. So excited. Oh, fun! We have a tarot um, cloth. Can you guys see this? Yes, you can. Awesome. It says past, present, future. So it's a little tarot mat. Ooh, it's nice and like velvety. Fabulous. Love it. Oh my god, I just saw something in this box. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna read about this tarot cloth. Okay. Opulent Oracle Tarot Cloth. Witch Casket Exclusive. Which, okay, I'm pretty positive everything is Witch Casket Exclusive. An opulent cloth for your past, present, future card spreads. Shuffle any tarot or oracle deck and place three cards on the cloth. Turn these cards to see what insight they hold about the past, present, and future. Y'all know I'm a tarot reader. Okay, super. I don't know if I want to pull this out yet. It's like awesome sauce. Okay, we're gonna get this out. So it's a little scroll. I think you can see that it says witch casket on this sticker. God, I hate to. I really hate to mess up these stickers, but pretty much if I don't slice it, I'm gonna mess up the paper. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you're not a current subscriber, y'all, I would appreciate if you'd subscribe to my channel. If you already subscribed. Okay, I'm having a hard time here. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. You guys are just watching me open shit. Okay. Spellcraft. The crafting and casting of spells needn't be as intimidated, intimidating as it sounds, starting out and stocking up. So there's like, um, you guys can, here, let's see, pause and read if you like. So it says, um, starting out and stocking up is a little section, and then it says setting your intention, gather your supplies, crafting and craft. Crafting and casting your spell be authentic. So I'll let you guys read that if you want to pause But it just gives you all the information about um, casting spells, which a lot of people are um, Nervous about starting out with that. I think I was too um, And in the coven that I'm in I'm in the awakened soul coven, which is um, the high priestess is Ethany and I'm an initiated priestess in the coven and I'm also a mentor so if you guys are interested in that the awakened soul coven um, but a lot of the um, newer uh, witchlings or whatever you want to call them <laughs> um, are a little afraid about starting their spell casting and we do study groups and we talk about that kind of stuff so again if you guys are interested if if you've not crafted a spell if you've not casted it um, you know don't be afraid. It's okay. Okay, um, I just don't want to pick up, you know what, I'm going to read about this and I don't want to pick up this amazing thing that I saw because, um, uh, okay, Spellcraft Parchment Scroll, exclusive to Witch Casket. The crafting and casting of spells needn't be as intimidated as it sounds. This parchment scroll will guide you through creating and casting your own spells. This information can be copied to your grimoire book of spells, or you can simply place the sheet inside your spell book. Framed, these scrolls can also add splendor to the walls of your home. It's probably gonna go um, in my, okay, I'm just gonna get it out of here. That's probably gonna go in my book of shadows, which, Let's talk about Book of Shadows. I don't know if you guys can see it actually says 
book of shadows on it and there's like a pentacle and some pretty stuff there can maybe you can see it with a edging is black nice so it's a cute little baby spell book it's just an empty um book and then it's got a um a ribbon to hold your spot how cute is this this is like your little pocket one that put it in your put it in your um in your purse and carry it with you all right let's see what it says embossed book of shadows also which casket exclusive proving that a book of shadows does not have to be huge <laughs> to be grand we designed this enchanting book a place to inscribe all of your favorite spells and rituals we hope you love it black on black vibe as much as we do yes girl yes i do all right next up we have passion and vitality Ritual contains everything you need to attract passion and increase vitality. Oh, yeah. I'll tell my boyfriend. So, usually, which casket includes um, a little spell pouch like this, which I totally love. And um, I think it's cool for newer people and for people who um, have been casting spells, but it's all right here, ready to go for the busy witch or for the noob. It's ready to go. So we have a red tea light. We've got, is that spearmint? We've got, um, it just says number one. We'll find out what that is. Not sure what this is. We have another bag of herbs, hard to see, sorry. And then we have this cute witch and then on the back it talks about the spell so we've got a red tea light for passion milk thistle for strength and vitality and then mint for passion and well-being that's what i read or that's what i smelled i'm not going to read the spell again if you subscribe you get the spell if you don't subscribe i don't know what to tell you you need to subscribe so i'm gonna put all that back in there fabulous I don't know that it's going to say anything more in here. Passion and Vitality Ritual Kit. This black envelope holds everything you need to attract passion and increase vitality. Whether you have lost your passion for a project or hobby or are looking to increase sexual passion, this kit contains everything you need for a ritual to enhance passion and vitality based on your individual intent. Awesome sauce. Uh, okay. Now what? Now what? I guess they always send two of the teas. So what did it say? Protection tea blend. And it says magical properties. Fennel for protection. Peppermint for purification. Brew with intent and drink mindfully. Ingredients are fennel, peppermint, and black tea. So I got two of these bad boys. Black tea. I love it. I really doubt that this says anything different. Yeah, it just says um, fennel for protection, peppermint for purification, luxury ingredients, antioxidant level high, caffeine content high. Yes, ma'am. All right. So now we have a tumbled black jasper, little black sachet and they always include a little card so it says witchcraft casket and then it's got um information so it says tumble black jasper black jasper is believed to protect its bearer from danger hexes and negative energies associated with the base chakra it can help you to feel more grounded motivated and emotionally strong and then let's see my new baby there it is, black jasper. I tell you, it's you get all these black crystals and then later you're like, shit, what is that? <laughs> I actually bought um, these little cards. I um, can't remember what, what the company's called, but um, they have like a picture of 
um, crystals and then it says the name and like the magical properties and all that. Um, and then some other things like the Mohs hardness and, and um, what um, classification and all that. And so I usually store them that way. That way I can um, pick out the ones that I need and I know that it's black jasper. So anyways, there we go, yay. Okay, I'm pretty sure, again, this is just gonna tell us it was exactly what it says on the card. Black jasper tumbled stone. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything different but what's on that little card. There's still more stuff, guys. Power Up Essential Oil Blend. So here's the box. Man, I keep having to break these seals and it makes me sad. But I mean, you know, you gotta break the seal if you wanna find the fun stuff inside, right? <laughs> I think I just made a dirty joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you with your mind not in the gutter, just ignore that. <laughs> All right. Two, two. Oh, and you know what? So, whoops. A while, I don't know what box, which box it was, but they gave us this essential oil. Can you see that? Essential oil holder, and this is one of their other oils that I had in there. So now I can put this in here. I have some other ones from other companies, but I'll fill it up with their oils. Smell it. What was it called again? Power Up. Oh, I think there's some cinnamon in there. I always put shit on my skin and I'll probably have a reaction one of these days. I feel like there's cinnamon in there. Let's, let's read about it. Let's read about it. Ooh, yeah, I smell cinnamon. Power Up Spell Oil, which casket exclusive. This essential oil blend was designed by us and created using 100% pure ginger and cinnamon. Okay, I smell the ginger too. Oils to add power to your spells and speed to the outcome. Used to ignite candles, add to aura sprays, diffusers, oil blends, ritual baths. Always use a safe carrier oil. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and be mindful of allergies before adding to baths, applying to skin, etc. <laughs> Keep it on your I always put it on my skin. <laughs> but yes, seriously, because I have had a reaction to cinnamon. Cinnamon's pretty strong. Um, so hopefully I won't have a reaction to that. So if y'all get this, this is pure cinnamon and ginger. So be mindful of that. Be mindful. Okay. Put that in there for just a minute. All right. Okay, we'll get this. A witch casket exclusive. Enamel pen, it says spell book on it. Oh my God. And the back, how cute is that? <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my God. I still have yet to get something. I wanted to get some kind of hangy thingy to put all my pens on to display them. I still need to do that. Um, this is a good question for y'all. What do you guys do with your pens that you get? Um, a while back, I was like, why do I need pens? Like, that's stupid. Now that I'm getting pens, I love them. I love them so much. They're so friggin' cute. I actually want to make some of my own. I mean, like, I can't make it, but send some of my designs to be made into pens for my Etsy store, y'all. Um, but I would love to hear what you guys do with your pens when you get them. Do you display them in some way? Do you put them on an item of clothing? I would love to know. I need some ideas how to display my pens. Also, jump over to my Etsy store, take a look at my designs. Would you guys love to see any of those in enamel pens? It's kind of expensive to make. I mean, like the initial investment. Um, but it's on my mind to do. It's on my mind. Let me know what you guys think. Comments. All right. Let's find this. Uh, enamel pen, witchcraft, witch casket exclusive. We are so excited with this bewitching little book of shadows pen. Show your love of magic with pride. And yes, I love it. 
All right. Now we have Witch Casket spell cards. On the back it says, an enchanting box of simple spells, tips, and brews. Witch Casket's exclusive spell cards hold magical answers to everyday problems. Let me read what it says in here. It may say the exact same thing. Um, we created the unique box of 25 cap captivating spell cards, especially for you. These informative cards carry information across five popular categories. Candle spells, crystal magic, spell jars, witches brews, witchy tips. Try pulling a card a day to see magic the cards hold for you that day. Add them to your altar or your book of shadows. Allow them to encourage you to practice simple but powerful magic. I love it. We're gonna pull a card, y'all. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I need to shuffle them. I don't know that they're in a particular order, but as a tarot reader, I like to shuffle. Okay. All right, so we got Power Up, which is awesome because we also have the Power Up essential oil. Add a clear quartz crystal to charm bags, spell jars, etc. To add power, ginger is also often used to speed up results. Very nice. So I think they're just saying that when you do um, a spell to power it up, you're gonna add a clear quartz crystal uh, in the mix of whatever else you've got going on in your charm bag, spell jar, etc., and then a little bit of ginger to speed up the results. So that's what it says. And then this is the backs of the cards. Very nice. And obviously we can add our power up oil to that spell jar. Perfect. So anyways, we've got, there's healing. I'm not gonna show you every one of these, but uh, protection, love. Super, I'm so excited. Oh my God. Which casket? Seriously, y'all. Um, if you guys are watching this, I love you, first off. And everybody else that's watching this, if you don't subscribe to this box, you're missing out. It's from the UK, but with shipping, I still only pay like 51 and some change, I think. Um, so that's even less than some of the ones I buy in the US. Just saying. And they've got exclusive stuff, which I always love. And uh, they, I feel like Deb and Ella put so much love and work into these boxes that it's just amazeballs. Okay, now we have another little like velvety sachet and it says Spellcraft on it. And it's got like a bat and a pinnacle. How cute is that? I think this is my last item, y'all. Um, that should be seven items. I don't know what it is. Oh, we have a selenite point. It's a obelisk, actually. Look. Yay. How beautiful. I don't have a selenite obelisk. And, well, I wonder if you can call this. I think this is an obelisk. It's got the four points at the top. We'll see what, let me break it. Let's see what they have to say. Yes, selenite obelisk in bespoke pouch. So when it, um, when a tower comes to like four, four sides to the point, that's an obelisk. There's a lesson for you. Okay, so anyways, selenite. And of course it's witch casket exclusive. Selenite is a spiritual stone of calm and peace, an excellent stone to clear the mind and encourage insight and good judgment. This makes them perfect for meditation. Obelisks are energy amplifiers. They're amplifying that energy, y'all. Okay. Um, and are used to dissipate negative energies. They can also be used like a wand to direct energy. Together with this bewitching, 
bespoke pouch. This exclusive item is both beautiful and practical. Absolutely. Sometimes I like to put um, obelisk, like little ones like this, in the center of my crystal grid. So it's amplifying that energy out to the universe, y'all. Mm. Oh my gosh. What's your favorite? Um, I don't know if I can choose. Do I have to? Uh, I love the spell cards. That's super cute. This Book of Shadows is super adorbs. Um, like, as always, I love me a spell kit. The Obelesque. The Tarot card. I can't choose. Y'all choose for me. What do you like the best? <laughs> Thanks guys for watching and Deb and Ella hit it out the park as usual. Love it. Be my friend. I think we decided we were friends last time. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all tuning in to me and listening to me ramble and be ADD. I've not taken Adderall yet today. It's going to happen when I start work tonight. Um, I love y'all. I appreciate you guys' support. If you're not currently subscribing, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I try to do lots during the month um, and I have lots more in store. And if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be great and a comment below. I wanted to know what's your favorite out of this box and what do you do with your pens when you get them? How do you display them? Let me know what you think. And if you wouldn't mind uh, visiting my witchy store. My Etsy store is Luna Moth Creations Co. And the link is below as well as links to the other stuff that I do. I do all kinds of things. And again, thanks so much. You guys have a great day. See you next time. Bye.